Friday, which means I've had my Garmin Fenix 6X for exactly one week, and no surprise, in love with it, doing everything I hoped it would do. But last Friday, there was some information it was giving me that I had my doubts about. It was suggesting it could tell me my body battery levels, my energy stress reserve capacity. I thought it can't work that stuff out. It might as well be trying to tell me my horoscope. I had no faith in it. Seven days on, I've gone complete about turn. I am loving that information now. I was wrong about all of it. I'll show you why. Wrong about all of it apart from the horoscope stuff. That stuff's all bullshit. Okay, so body battery. This is the new measurement that Garmin watches or some Garmin watches have been able to give you for about a year now. The Fenix 6 is not my first Garmin watch, but it's the first one I've had with the body battery information. What is body battery? Garmin say, Garmin say. Body battery is a feature that uses a combination of heart rate variability, stress, activity to estimate the user's energy levels during the day, it records and displays numbers, blah, blah, blah. It's basically working out whether you are tired, whether you are not, whether you've got the energy to go and work out. I read that and thought, rubbish. I know how I feel, and I know that quite accurately. There's no way on earth the watch can work that out. All this mumbo jumbo, not a hope. So why have I changed my mind? Well, let me take you through my week. I'm gonna be looking at the app on the iPhone because the information for body battery is much clearer on here. It is shown on the watch, but the app is a far better way of looking at it. Okay, so just syncing up the watch, making sure everything is up to date. The body battery is up the top here. We click into that, and we're gonna jump back to last Saturday. So here we've got the 5th of October, last Saturday. This was the first day I put it on and wore it properly. So it goes on in the morning. My body battery was set at around 80. It doesn't know how I slept the night before. I wasn't wearing it, so we can ignore what it started me at. It's not particularly relevant for this day. A slight increase in my energy levels and then a decline, a steep decline, which is spot on because that morning I ran a Spartan Beast race. That's a three hour, 22 kilometer obstacle course race, off-road, incredibly draining, and accordingly, my energy levels fell. Afterwards, they then leveled off and remained fairly level. I didn't feel as though I was as worn out as I expected to be. Had I looked at this app at the time, it would have shown me that there was an awful lot of orange going on. Orange is high stress. The gap here is where the activity took place. It doesn't measure stress levels during an activity because the activity is supposed to be stressful by very nature. You can see there's an awful lot of stress that day. I wasn't looking at this. I felt amazing and thought I don't need a recovery day. This was telling me otherwise. Let's jump forward to the next day, the 6th. This is now the Sunday. So I have a good night's sleep, I'm wearing the watch, my recovery means that my energy levels, my body battery goes back to 100. I start the day there, I have a lion, so it hardly moves at all. And then it starts to drop. It drops quite dramatically, given I'm not doing an awful lot until around early afternoon, I go for a very, very light run. I then went into town, went to a burger joint with my family and ate an absolute ton of junk food. My body was just crying out for nutrition after the day before, and I ignored it completely and gave it onion rings. Again, I was still feeling okay. If we overlay the stress on top of that, there are some quite significant amounts of orange, given that this is supposed to be a day of rest and replenishing my reserves. And this is supposed to be a day of complete recovery. In fact, I felt so all right that I stayed up late on that night. So jumping across to Monday the 7th, I didn't go to bed until two o'clock in the morning. I was up late working on the video from that event. By the time I do go to bed, I get a small amount of recovery until around four o'clock in the morning. And then even though I'm asleep, my reserves start to drop and continue dropping all day dramatically. In fact, they go down lower than they went on the day I did the Spartan race itself. If we put the stress on top of that, it looks like someone lit a forest fire in my body battery chart. 
you would think I was doing something physically arduous. I did not get out of bed that day at all. I woke up at about 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning feeling terrible, like I had flu, every single joint ached, my muscle soreness that I expected from the race two days earlier kicked in as though I'd been run over by a truck. I felt horrendous. I tried to rest as much as possible. I drifted in and out of sleep. As far as my body battery was concerned, I was simply plummeting. Out of interest, it was around four o'clock on this day that I actually uploaded the data to have a look at my body battery and started to wonder if maybe the watch had a better idea what was going on than I did. Garmin could not be telling me I told you so more clearly than this. Two days of saying you need to rest, two days of me ignoring it, a third day of getting knocked for six. Let's jump forward to the eighth. After a day of complete rest, I had a good night's sleep, my energy levels went back to 100. In fact, the first thing I did when I woke up that morning was looked at my watch, saw I had a 100 body battery, got out of bed and sort of cross-checked it against myself and actually felt quite good. But I knew I needed to take it easy. I didn't want to push it and go backwards again, chucking the stress levels on top. Not an awful lot going on. I was at work that day, but I have a particularly unstressful job and it's reflected there. Late in the day, I did some very light aerobic exercise. So although there are some gaps in the graph there, they wouldn't be particularly stressful. It was not much more than a walk around the block. That is a better day. So completely convinced with the information it was giving me, the watch absolutely nailed it. It knew that I was drained. It knew that my body was reacting stressfully, even though I felt all right, and it tried to warn me. I ignored it completely and just stuffed my face with junk food and nearly died. As a, I didn't nearly die. That's a slight exaggeration. It felt like I was nearly dying. It was horrific. Get back into the app. This is the 9th. So this is now Wednesday. I thought I'd see what happens if I don't wear it because until this point, it had not been off my wrist. I get a good night's sleep. I'm back to 100 and then I take it off about 8.30 and I go to work. I sat in my car, I drove to go and see clients, I had lunch. The watch assumed that I had a far more routine way of life, I guess, because when I put it back on again at four o'clock in the afternoon, it had drained my body battery while sat on my desk doing nothing, right down low. Now Garmin do say that when the watch isn't being worn, it will use data that they simply estimate based on normal averages. I stuck it back on, and immediately, even though I'm up and about and at home and just taking it easy that evening, my energy levels start to recover, almost as well as they do when I'm asleep. Low stress evening, as you can see by overlaying the stress on top. Now to continue my little test of what it does when it's not on the wrist, I didn't wear it overnight. I wanted to see if it would take me all the way back to 100, which I know it can do if on my wrist and I'm in bed normally. But it didn't. Again, perhaps it just assumed normal averages because when I put it back on my wrist at eight o'clock in the morning, it wasn't much more than about 80. Having my normal morning routine, it started to recover. I then go to my office around 9, 9.30. A very, very low stress day for me at work. In fact, no stress at all really until this point. I go to the gym, my energy levels fall. There was actually a period of further fall after that and some high stress. That's because I was unpacking my new sauna that has arrived. Uh, unpacking the sauna wasn't stressful, but my children were helping, enough said. As soon as that task was over, my energy levels start to come back again. If we move into today, had I left it on my wrist at this point, the energy levels would have come right back to 100, and I'd have started off today on 100. Actually, the battery was getting low at this point. And I should say, the battery life on this thing is amazing. Every time I turn my wrist, I have it set up automatically to light up. It's running maximum features, so there's no battery saving facilities going on at all with this thing. I've done loads of exercise with it, including that big race last weekend. I hadn't charged it since last Friday. Last night, it was telling me, stick it on charge, you've got about half a day left. So, back into the app. I stuck it on charge overnight. Hence, it's not been worn. I actually woke up about 4.30 in the morning, stuck it back on my wrist, went back to bed. Energy level started to recover. And I woke up this morning around 80. Again, had I been wearing it all night, there's no question it would have been back to 100. Looking at my normal routine day today, pretty low stress, pretty representative of how the day's gone. So, in a nutshell, absolutely impressed with it. It got it right. 
Now, in an ideal world, I'm sure many people will be saying as well, you should know this stuff. Listen to yourself, listen to your own body. I get all that, but there are times when you don't. There are times when you feel good, but stuff's going on inside. Your heart rate variability, I guess, things like that, that are an indicator that you might not be as recovered or you might need more recovery than you think. And this is a great way, for me at least, to motivate myself to just take a moment and, and adjust for that. Equally, it will also be beneficial where I have periods of time where I'm just being lazy and do nothing. And I'm looking at my body battery and every day it's reminding me by saying, you've not drained this thing at all. Get off your butt and go and do something. And that is it. As I say, I'm delighted with it. That's just one feature of the watch. I'll do some more videos on other bits and pieces. I've got a 50K run coming up soon and that will be clearly very useful to monitor on the watch. Tomorrow, I'm at the Obstacle Course World Championships, which will be uh, interesting to see how my body battery is affected by that. That's gonna be particularly arduous. It's almost a repeat of last Saturday. So I'll be looking for identical sort of results, but this time paying more attention to them. Hope you found it useful. If you've got any questions, if you've got any comments, stick them down below. It'd be great to see those. And that's it for now. I need to get off and rest because, um, because I do. It's, uh, it's scientifically proven. Mm -hmm.